Right, let's do this. So to context this video, I'll start by saying that I am completely new to Zwift and I've been meaning to make a video about what I've learned so far since having Zwift for the past four or five weeks. The challenge is to set the bike up here. So I've got these two monitors here, pedals, cables, power pack. So we've then got this thing. You can tell I've never ridden the bike properly before. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna set all this up tomorrow. Wish me luck. I've since been signing up to races, five races so far and a couple of long distance socials in an attempt to learn the ropes. So this is my drafting dinos Monday um, social ride when we get on the bike because I am running late. So the problem is, like I did this ride two weeks ago it was my first social ride, so this is my second social ride, and I had to ride the entire thing pretty much in race mode to be able to keep up with everyone. If it wasn't obvious already, I'm a Category D rider. Just over a month ago, I signed up for my first random race that was available to me. It turned out it was part of a race series, a short series of five weekly races. So having now completed this series, I thought I'd make a video about what I've learned about Zwift racing so far. <sighs> There's no easy way out There's no shortcut home So race one was the volcano circuit Three laps over 17 kilometers This was my first ever adventure into the world of Zwift racing I finished ninth out of 11 in D category on Zwift power I don't know why but not everyone is on Zwift power Meaning that my overall position on Zwift after the race can change when I log in and look on Zwift power in this first race, I averaged 1.8 watts per kilogram, and I was by far the heaviest on the course out of all the categories at 116.1 kg. Also, this race is where I learned about heels. Heavy rider plus heels equals getting dropped really easily. On the flip of that coin, I also learned that I'm like a bullet down a steep hill. I'm assuming because of my weight. Race two was the downtown dolphin circuit, six laps over 12 kilometers. I averaged 1.9 watts per kg in this race. Can I catch him here? Come on! No, I can't. I had managed to drop some weight by this point, but I was still the heaviest on the circuit at 114.3 kg. I haven't got it. This race was a good one from a learning perspective. I learned a lot about the importance of drafting. I need to keep up with them because I'm not getting a drafting effect this far back. I spent the entire race on my own and was picked to the finish line by the bloke chasing me. because he understood drafting a lot better than I did. I think I've been lapped. Yeah, I'm in six. Oh man. Oh. And then race three was the Guardia Loop. Five laps over 15 kilometers. Good, I've got some good news. Uh, I'm about to log in, which I need to go now, but really, really quickly, I'm unable to update my weight. I again managed to drop weight and was now down to 112.5 kg. Here we go, 248. I've lost, I've lost 12 pounds in the last four weeks. So what we're going to do today is the Crit Club Stage 3. I'm going to go straight into this. I'm not going to do a big long-winded intro. Stay with the front. Let's do this. There we go. Because this race had a brutal hill just after a section of short rolling hills and just before a downhill sprint towards the finish line, I knew I had to attempt to combine drafting with my only advantage, using power on the flats to combat the hills. I've got myself a little lead from 22nd place, but I'm by no means safe. We're coming up to the final lap now. It's that awful hill. 7%. I've got a feeling she saved the power up. She's done well to catch me. I'm not gonna be able to break free from her. So I need to use her to draft off of. This is that hill now. Oh. This is a bitch of a hill. This hill's a killer. Come on. She's going for it. I 
Oh, I haven't got it. She's beat me on the hill. This f***ing hill. I haven't got it. Yeah. I finished 15th out of 21 according to Zwift Power and I increased my watts per kg average to 2.0. I had the highest wattage in this race across all five races of 221 watts and increased my average 20 minute wattage to 2.0 watts per kg. You can also see that I'm not holding anything back in regard to work ethic or effort levels across all these races. I'm really going for it, maxing out my heart rate in the 180s, averaging about 166 BPM. Race four was the Neokyo Crit Course, four laps over 16 kilometers. I always end up setting up late on the bike, but today I haven't done that. I always normally end up forgetting something, but I've managed to come in with about 15 minutes. So not only do I get a warm up, I also ensure I don't forget anything. So I've got my water, headphones, phone fully charged, laptop recording, flux capacitor, fl I've forgotten my towel. I'll be back in two secs. So today's race is Stage four, Crit Club. So I noticed I've done stage one, two, and three. One and two were by accident. I did stage three because I did one and two, and I just thought, there's only five stages, I may as well finish them. Right, I don't know why it does that, so I tried to sprint off the line. And my gears dropped. I think it's the hood that's covering my gears, but that's balls up my start there. I'm at the back of the lead pack. I'm having to do 250, 300 watts just to stick with them. And we're going up a 2% incline. This race was probably my favorite. For the first time, I actually managed to remain within the leading pack for a while before the pack got too stretched out. And then I remained with the chasing group. I've been dropped, but there's me and this other dude. I need to stay with him. So I've got any chance of sticking with this lead pack. These guys are going for it. We're coming in last lap. I've managed to get to the top of that steep bit with them. Come on. Come on. about 42. <sighs> if I look at the finish times for the Cat D riders on Swift Power for this race, I can see that my finish time is right there with the pack I was fighting to remain with, milliseconds off the others, and with a decent sprint, I would and probably should have secured top 10. Oh, that was a good one. I need to get off this bike and fall on the floor. I learned a lot about the importance of sprinting. I still don't know if I can sprint yet. I haven't had a successful sprint, but I am aware of its importance and potential dominance on the finish line. Okay, so it's Saturday, four o'clock. We've got 10 minutes until this race starts. So this is the final stage, stage five of the Crit Club races that I've been doing. And then the fifth and final race was the Glasgow Crit Course. This one had a killer double kicker heel in it. So tactic one or priority one is simple. Try and get off the start line and remain with the lead pack and then try and stick with them for the majority of the race. Very simply have a burst of energy at the end and come first. So that's, that's tactic one. Just over 30 seconds left until we go. I've got Scarly here supporting me. Have a nice. Say hi. Hello. Oh, I've gone too early. 
zoomed off that line. So there's not a lot that's gonna happen here. Right, we've got a hill here, and Scarlett's hit the yeah. aerodynamic for me. Yeah. Otherwise I'm gonna get dropped. That's a 9% hill. Oh my God. You want that feather. That is a tough hill. Right, we're using the power up on the hill, Scotty. Okay. okay. There were several aspects of this race that I lost it on. I got dropped from the lead group on that hill and I didn't make it back to the chasing group. So I ended up racing the majority of the race on my own, meaning that meters from the finish line, the three riders chasing me were able to draft off each other and beat me to the line, all sprinting. Is the feather the best one? Yeah, feather makes me light. One lap left. I'm 19 seconds ahead of the bloke behind me. He keeps trying to make a play for me. I'm in 18th and I want to defend it. And I still have my feather. And we're going to use it on that monster hill. Yay. Aren't we, Scarlett? Yep. Yeah, but if they catch you, you No, my gears. Aww. Right, you ready? Use it. My gears messed up then. Right, go. I also learned the importance of good usage of my power-ups. I didn't really use the power-ups very wisely in my previous races and was determined to make the most of them in this one, especially on that hill. They're on me. When they get to you, just stick with them. They're on me. Because I'd burnt so much energy trying to maintain the gap between myself and those chasing me, I didn't have a sprint in me for the finish line. I've got no more in me, Scarlett. Keep going. I've got nothing. Keep going. I've got nothing. Keep going. Use them, use them. I got no more. No. Oh. 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 I came in 19th out of 19, dead last, which was frustrating. But looking at my stats, I was pleased to see that I produced my highest 15 second, 30 second, and one minute watts per kg in this race. Oh, it's so frustrating. Doing that whole way and then getting beat. I hate it. I hate it. My biggest tactic for Zwift is my weight. I need to address my weight loss. I'm currently on a calorie deficit diet. This basically means that I'm intentionally burning more calories than I'm consuming with the intention of losing weight. I have learned that everything is watts per kg on Zwift, especially uphill, so this can only benefit me. Zwift is a, is a massive incentive to lose weight. So in priority order, based on what I've learned so far, my new priorities for Zwift are, number one, do not get dropped. Priority one, off the start line, will always be to remain with the lead group. Do what it takes to sit in that pack, conserve energy, and if it looks like I'm about to get dropped, push hard to sprint back into the group, even if it means I burn more energy than I have doing so. Just trying to keep up with them. So plan A, I haven't lost it yet. Right. Tactic A, always tactic A, priority number one, get off the line, stay with the front. Let's do this. Number two is to utilize the draft. Do not race alone. If I do get dropped, fight to get back or pick up the chasing group. I'm gonna try and catch that lead pack and stick with them. I'm at the back of the lead pack. In race two, downtown Dolphin, I hadn't yet understood the need to remain within a group to maintain the drafting benefit and I allowed myself to get dropped. I think I've been lapped. Yeah, I'm in six. The bloke chasing me understood that need and used faster riders lapping us to draft off of and chase me down. It was a great move on his part and one that helped me understand the importance of not getting dropped, as well as using faster riders to boost his position. But really, really cleverly, if you notice, the guy in six has drafted off them and he's caught me up. So he's beaten me 
That was a really clever move. Number three or priority three is know the course and where the hills are. I know that I'm very heavy and therefore slower up hills. I will always get beat on hills. We've got a hill here and Scarlett's hit the yeah. aerodynamic for me. Yeah. Otherwise I'm gonna get dropped. That's a 9% hill. Oh my God. It wasn't that feather. That is a tough hill. Right, we're using the power up on the hill, Scotty. Use the draft benefit and power ups on these sections to ensure I stick to priority one. And in priority four, practice my sprints on the flat and sprint for the finish line to either stretch out the group or get to the line first. I'm relatively powerful and I should use my weight to, to my advantage when I can. And then the last priority is to continue to lose weight. The lighter and stronger I get, the better I get. There's loads more tactics around the different power-ups, etc. But I know that if I stick to these five major priorities, I will eventually get myself a place on the Cat D podium. How long that will take, I don't know, but I do know it will happen sooner rather than later if I keep going in this direction. I've also bought a fan, so for everyone commenting on my videos, please be assured I am aware of the need for a fan. I'm not ignoring it, it's just the bike cost a lot of money and I was reluctant to spend more. Thanks for watching this Swift video. Please subscribe as it helps motivate me and don't forget to leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments. Good luck on Zwift. Good luck to me on Zwift. See you in the next video.